Yeah, so as you were taking, this is a moderate emission. Okay, so these are uh, easy ones, right? But uh, yes, this these ones I will quickly do, and uh, I will tell you guys to start from the fifth one, sixth one, and uh, seventh one. So this question was uh, a little bit uh, tough, but uh, this one we have done, right? This one is an easy one, and this one is also, and uh, this one is. So, yeah, it should do it. Okay, so let us quickly put this uh, question. The area of a sector of central angle 120 degree of uh, a circle is uh, 3 pi centimeters square. Then the length of the corresponding arc of uh, this sector. Okay, so you guys don't uh, go by this uh, mark. Yeah, all of you guys uh, try this question. Area of sector is uh, given, right? Area of uh, sector is uh, uh, 3 pi centimeters square, and uh, this is uh, the sector. So, this angle is given, which is 120 degrees. So, this is not looking like 120 degrees, but yeah. And uh, you have to find out uh, the length of, let's say, you have to find out AB arc. All of you guys calculate and test. So it should not take that much of a time. Yes, everyone. And uh, except uh, Hash, right? Because this was uh, Hashu's paper, so Hashu has solved all these questions. So, yeah, you guys please calculate and uh, tell me. Ashi has done this paper. So, question for Ashi. Can you guys see that how much you guys uh, write by doing these uh, questions? Yes, quickly tell me. They should not take that much of time. Hardly one or two minutes. Yes, so got it, so Got it, yeah. So I am getting two pi. Two pi. Two pi centimeters. Okay. So uh Aisha got two pi centimeters. It is one pi centimeters. Shaima Marshre, what about you guys? <laughs> Box. Yes, I got it. Same. Okay. 
Mama, what about you? <laughs> yeah. So, same. What did you say? Same. Oh, one second. What did you say? One second. So I'm. Uh, yeah. You are calculating. Yeah, okay, to to buy me. Yeah, to buy. Good, so everyone, I got to find the details if you want to make the question, right? Yeah, take time. So, what I will do is that this is 1 by sec theta, right? Which is uh, cos theta, and we know that the maximum value that uh, cos theta take is uh, between, let's say, 0 to 90. We know that it takes uh, 1. So, 1 to 0, it is, right? So we know that the maximum value is uh, 1. So this is uh, correct. Sig theta uh, plus tan theta, 1 minus tan theta, sin theta. So this is uh, how much? 1 by cos theta, sin theta by cos theta, and uh, 1 minus sin theta, right? So this is plus. So this is 1 plus sin theta, cos theta, 1 minus sine theta, so 1 minus sine square theta, so this is a cos square theta by cos theta, so cos square theta, right? So this is the correct. And uh, yeah, this one, we leave uh, this part. So the length of the minute hand of a clock is 21 centimeters. So the length, this is a uh, region, right? And uh, then the area swept by the minute hand in 10 minutes is uh, 231 uh, centimeters square, right? Oh, so this is uh, the other. So in 10 minutes, uh, what is uh, the angle that is uh, covered by this, uh, right? So we have uh, this clock and it goes in uh, 10 minutes. So how much is uh, this angle? So we know that in uh, 60 minutes, the angle is 360 degrees. So in one minute, the angle would be 360 by 60. So in 10 minutes, this is uh, 10. So this is 60. So we have to find out the area swept by this uh, minute hand. So that would be area of sector. So theta by 360 pi r square. So 60 by 360 and oh, this is 21. Okay, so now we have to take 22 by 7, 21, 21. So this is 6. So this is 3. This is 2. This is 11. So 11 uh, ones are 11 twos are 22 and 31. So this answer is correct. But area is not uh, theta by 360 into 2 pi r square. That is simply pi r square. So this is wrong. Right. So A is true or is uh, false. That is uh, correct. OK, so this was uh, this question. Now uh, comes the. Uh, major league uh, questions, right? This one, the fifth one. So we have uh, this thing, right? This one is an easy question. So all of you guys, please calculate this and uh, tell me what would be A and A. Because you guys already know the value of sine and cos, right? Ashe, this is your friend. This, this is your friend. So he has, he or me, she has written some wrong order, right? Whatever order is this, so this one should be at uh, that.
this is the sign uh, value. Sign zero, sign thirty, sign forty-five, sign uh, sixty, and sign ninety. Mm, all of you guys, please calculate and uh, tell me what would be A and uh, B. So this type of a question is exactly same type of question is in the NCRT. NCRT exercise uh, eight point. Sir, A is 30 and B is 15. A is uh, 30 and B is 15. Yeah. So I also got the same. I got B as 15 and A as 30. Mm. So, so. so I want all of you guys to practice these kind of questions so that you guys gain confidence, right? So when you do these uh, problems, then you have the confidence in yourself. Mm. So, you can also check your answer by putting these values in the question, right? So if you put A equals to 30, B equals to 15, so A plus 2B, that is uh, 30 plus 2 into 15, so that is 60. Sign 60 is, similarly you can check put password. Mm, Professor Saab, come on and show what about you guys? Got stuck, guys. Same. Same. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, did you get uh, the same answer, or do you have any doubt, Amma? Yes. Same only. Same, same only. Oh, the same, same only. Okay, yeah. 
this was a what a plus a to b and this is root 3 by 2 which is sine 60. So we got a plus 2 b as 60 and uh, similarly the value of cos uh, which is 0 so that happens at uh, 90 degrees. So a plus 4 b 90 so if we cancel these things out, we will get uh, minus uh, 30. So B is 15 and uh, A plus uh, 2 is 15, 16. So B. Yes. So Harshi, did you solve this problem? Or did you get uh, stuck somewhere? No, sir, I solved it. Good. Okay, so now, uh, <laughs> and the sixth one is also easy one, right? Both of uh, the questions are uh, easy ones. Okay, so six uh, A one. Tan theta is twelve by five. That is b by b, right? So we have theta b is twelve. This is five. So we can calculate by Pythagoras theorem. This would be thirty, right? AC is let us say that this is five square plus twelve square. We can directly write. It. So that would be 25, 144. So that is 169. So, 30. so this is a 30. Now, uh, what was the question? Sine theta. This is a 12 by 30. Cos theta is a 5 by 30. So we put these values in here. And uh, what would be the value, guys? You guys calculate. Quickly, you guys calculate. I forgot. No. So it is one wants to be a doctor. Right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes. Yes, you guys, please find the answer and uh, tell me. Ajay, you also solved, right? But you have already solved these problems. So only Harshit, only this question is a tough one, but rest ones are easy, right? But uh, this question had this uh, alternative. Oops. Where is it? There, I'm getting 17 by 7. 17 by 7. Sorry, I just got the answer. Yeah. Okay, so if two people are getting the same answer there, nowadays I cannot argue with the shy man actually. Right? They have gone past me. Yes, there is one Ashid Amashvi. What you guys are getting? And what do you guys want to pick up? Shaima, Hashi, Damar, Shri, Aisha, what do you guys want to pick up? Do you guys uh, decide? 
so this is the time to decide whatever subjects you decide that will define your <coughs> yes, there is one. What are you guys getting? They should not take that much of a time. Hmm, where are you guys? What is happening? This one, Ashish, Shweb, Amar, did you guys get the answer? Yes, guys. Hello, my test. Yes, me finding. Oh, you guys, you guys are still finding. Yes, sir. So, what, why, why did, why this, this much time? Okay, so if you add this thing with uh, this thing, and then you subtract this thing with uh, this thing, that is the question. So one would be seventeen by thirty. This would be 12 minus 5. I'm skipping. I should not skip these steps. So LCM is 13, so 12 plus 5. LCM is 13, so 12 minus 5. So 17 by 13, 7 by 13. 13, 13 cancels. 17 by 7. Where did you guys get stuck? Uh... Okay, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, where did you guys this? I did a little long. Yeah. This was not an indicate, right? Uh, okay, um, sure. Mm. So, I guess you guys uh, have some problem with these, uh, these numerators and the numbers, right? Okay, it's raining yes. here. Yeah, so let us do the next uh, question, right? <laughs> so, two marks cut, right? This one and uh, Shreve, Amar, Ashish has already given the signal. So, two marks cut, right? Oh, three marks. This was offered two marks, right? Um, and the other question is uh, the application of product, right? So I want you guys to make a diagram. Yeah. But uh, I cannot see those diagrams. I'll have to ask everyone to show the notes, write your uh, calculation, and then it to take me, then that would be a hassle. So I will update you guys, and then you guys correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, two poles, one is uh, higher, the other one is shorter. This is uh, the base, right? So this one is 30 meters, this one is 15 meters. And if I make a, a horizontal line, so what would be this distance? What would be this distance, guys? Right? <laughs> this one is parallel to this one, right? So whatever this is, this would be 50. Right? 
Yes. So is the answer five root three centimeters? Why is it saying that the answer is five? Yeah. So in the question, uh, there are these uh, two codes, right? And uh, on the top of uh, the codes, these are the top of uh, the codes. And we, when you join these uh, to top of the codes, so this is making an angle uh, out 60 degree with the horizontal. This is the horizontal, right? So we know that uh, this is uh, 15. So this would be how much? Yes, guys. 15. Right, so 30 minus 15, this is uh, 15 centimeters. So this is 15 and uh, this is perpendicular. This is uh, base. We have to find out the distance between the ports. So this is the distance between the ports, right? So this is perpendicular, this is base. So what uh, trigonometric ratio relates that? 1060, so. 1060, right? So 1060 would be P by B. So this 60 is root 3. P we know. And uh, B we have to calculate. So B is uh, 15 by root 3. Rationalize this. So oh, why did I cancel? rationalize this so this becomes 15 root 3 by 3 so as I shall say this is 5 root 3 right uh, guys right okay so this was uh, this question so what was the question that you tried, uh, A part or B part? Ashit, which question did you try, A or B? So A. A. Yeah. So both are easy, right? <coughs> okay, so now let us question. This one is, uh, yeah, done. Seventh uh, eight. So this kind of uh, question, uh, yeah, they should not have asked. Trigonometric identity was there. Asked that this is. So this is uh, given, and uh, then we have to prove that uh, tan theta plus cot theta equals to one. This we have. Right. So uh, we know that, uh, let us simplify this thing. LHS is uh, what? Right. So LHS is tan theta plus uh, cot theta. So if we write it in uh, sine and cos, LCM is uh, sine theta cos theta, and uh, this would be sine squared theta plus uh, cos squared theta. Right? So this is 1 by sine theta and uh, cos theta. So how can this be 1? Right? So the answer is lying in the information that is uh, given. So we have to use uh, the information. And uh, how can I get? Uh, how can I get sine theta into cos theta? What do I do? That this problematic root is gone and I also get sine theta into cos theta. What should I do with this one? Everyone square it. Square. Shyama is the square. What about all of you guys?
Yes. Are you guys agreeing with uh, Shai Masa? Yes, sir. Yes. Two experts are saying that we should uh, square uh, right. So squaring this, we will get uh, what? So sine theta plus cos theta whole square, and this is three. So this is sine square theta plus cos square theta plus two sine theta and uh, cos theta. And this is three. This is uh, one. So two sine theta cos theta is two. So sine theta into cos theta is one. Right. So putting this value in here, so let's say this is one. So from uh, one, right, this would be one by one, which is uh, one, which is the arches. So this was uh, this question. This was a little bit complicated question. You guys please uh, note down this. But the alternate one is uh, easy, right? Yeah, you guys please uh, note down this problem. And if you guys have any doubts, please uh, tell me. Whenever you guys have written it down, Yeah, whenever you guys have moved it down, please. <laughs> and everyone. Yes, guys. Dance. It's yes, so alternate one. Uh, what have I told you guys? Whenever we have to write every other trigonometric ratio in the form of uh, some trigonometric ratio. So what have I told you guys? First we write, which one we write uh, the first, which is uh, directly related, right? So what uh, is directly related with parsec A? First we write uh, the um. recipe. Yes, sign, right, yes. So first we write uh, the reciprocal one, right? So sign A would be one by parsec A. This is not uh, asked in the question, but uh, for the uh, future, uh, it will write, uh, right? So this is, uh, we know. And uh, from identity, from identity, what is this uh, cosec uh, related with uh, directly, right? So this cosec is related with uh, what? Yes, guys. 
cot square tree, right? So this is uh, related with cot. So, <laughs> so we can find out uh, cot using cosec, right? So let us find out that. So cot uh, would be how much? Cot square A using the identity. This would be cosec square A minus one. So cot A would be root of cos x square a minus. So this is done. This was one part which was asked in that question. Yeah, this. Now if we have uh, cot a, right, then we can uh, calculate, uh, yeah, so let us leave this part in here. So we have the sign a, right? And uh, from sign a, what uh, can we calculate? What can we calculate from sign A? Using this thing, we can calculate uh, cos. cos A, right? So sign A square A, right? Sine square A plus the cos square A is one. So cos square A is one minus the sine square A. So this is uh, one minus, now we know the value of sine. That is one by cos, right? So this is one by cos x square. So if we simplify this, this is cos x square. A. This is a cos x square a minus one. So this is the cos square. So cos a would be root of cos x square a minus one by cos x square. So we can take this out of the root, right? We can uh, take this out of the root and this would be cos. So this is the uh, cos, right? <laughs> so we have found out cos, now we have found out cos. And from cos, what we can calculate directly? Yes. CK. CK, right? So, <coughs> so CK would be simply reciprocal of cos. So we take the reciprocal, so this becomes cos AK divided by. So this is uh, what we do in the kind of question, uh, right? Firstly, we write uh, the reciprocal then we use uh, identity and then depending upon whatever we have we found that thing using again identity and then we find a uh, reciprocal and uh, the cycle goes on right first we find reciprocal identity then find uh, use identity then reciprocal. So this is how we do this right so you guys practice that, uh, how can we calculate every trigonometric ratio in the form of sec? So you guys can uh, do that. And this is a direct question from NCIT, right? This was a question from the NCIT. Okay, so do you guys want to note uh, this thing down? That we have done so many times. So I guess yeah, you guys practice. I will erase this part in place. Just remember that you first write reciprocal, then identity. This kind. If you have doubt uh, about this thing, then you can ask. But you guys practice. Okay, so now we have. Uh, This is circle part. So, <laughs> so this one is uh, right eight point. So what uh, what is given that uh, PQ and uh, of radii seven centimeter and three point five centimeter. So this is uh, three point five centimeter. This is a seven centimeter. It is a given. 
And then you have to find out the shaded region. So that is uh, the simplest uh, equation that you have, right? This thing you have to find out. So again, as I have told you guys, that diagrams are important to so first make the diagram. This one is <laughs> This one is uh, 3.5 centimeters, and uh, this one is 7 centimeters, right? So area of uh, shaded region, you have to find out. So area of shaded region, oh, why am I calculating? So you guys have three minutes, please calculate. Calculate and uh, tell me what would be the answer. Oh, this one is also all type of question. And you guys can see that why this has been asked in five marks question. Just because this has a lazy calculation, right? And this is a five mark question, so you should always write the diagram. You should always make the diagram, label it, and then you write uh, in the exam, write all the because this has been asked in five marks question. So we should not give any means to cut uh, the marks. <laughs> oh yeah yeah okay okay Ashid yes so yes Allah Hafiz Allah Hafiz Ashid and on to the on to the next one right so yes sir I don't think about this one and start preparing for the next one Allah Hafiz Allah Hafiz
or is it 9.63 centimeter square? 9.6. So I have not calculated right. Even I don't know the answer. So these uh, people would uh, tell you whether that is correct or not, right? So 9.63 centimeters. Yes. So sir. is it 9.62 centimeters square? Hmm. So that is correct. Now you guys, uh, yeah. So then this is correct. Because two people are getting the same answer. So Good. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this was a simple question, right? We have to subtract the sectors. Big sector minus the small sector, right? So you said 9.62 centimeters. Mm. <laughs> yes, Dr. Sir. 6.25. 6 to 5. So, another, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the third order, you have calculated. Yeah. So, 6, 5 uh, is uh, more than 5. We can approximate this. 6 to 5, 6 to 6, 3. All these are correct. Yes, Hashid uh, has said. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Then, this is the third question. Hello, Amira. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Oh, you guys have uh, class assessment, right? So please uh, take that uh, class assessment. And that is uh, from probability, right? Because so that class assessment that uh, we have not taken. So... Yeah. Okay, so we'll stop it here. And uh, you guys have these uh, problems also. So you guys practice uh, these ones. And... Uh, We'll talk about these in on Twitter. And maybe I will start with service here. Okay, so yes, you guys take care and uh, see you guys on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, practice, practice. Uh, guys have got how many marks until now you have got? So Shaima got Shaima and Aisha. Five, three, eight, eight to ten, and ten plus four, fourteen. But uh, it's one got twelve, right? Two marks cut for this question. Uh, right. So, what is the passing mark? <laughs> <laughs> passing mark is always uh, forty percent now, right? Thirty-three, um, thirty-three or uh, forty. Nowadays, what is passing mark? I don't know. In our time, uh, the passing marks were 33 mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so yes, uh, I'll have you guys and uh, see you guys. Uh, Shweb and Amar have not solved this problem, so I will ask them in the next class. Yeah, I'll have you guys and see you guys in all the next. I'll have you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Please take that class assessment whenever you guys leave. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> yes, uh, hello, Tejasvi. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening. Yeah, so let us uh, wait for a beer. And uh, I have given you, yeah, I have given you a question paper. So, did you guys? Uh, Check that uh, question. Yes, sir. Okay, and did you guys, uh, okay, so Amira, and did you solve that, Amira? Yes, sir. Okay, so we will discuss that question. Right? Uh, then I will see that how much you guys. Yeah. Okay, let us wait for a beat to join and meanwhile, meanwhile, I will uh, keep this screen at this point. You guys think, oh, you guys think about uh, these questions.
Okay, so we have not joined yet. Yeah, so let us uh, start and maybe uh, she will join the time. So, okay, so this is a question from area related to survey, right? So this is uh, the question. <clears throat> Area of a sector of central angle is given, then the length of the corresponding arc of uh, this sector. So you guys please calculate and uh, find out uh, what would be the answer. Right. You guys please calculate and uh, take. And uh, if you have any doubt about this question, then you can ask for us, right? First, try this question, and if you are stuck, then I will uh, take it. Did you guys get the answer? Sir, it's option A. Option A. So, okay, 2 pi. So, yes, we got uh, 2 pi. Amira, what about you? Did you understand uh, the question? Sir, I'm not getting it. Mm, okay, good. good. So that is a good. If you don't understand, please don't hesitate to tell. Right. So, what is this uh, thing uh, given? Three pi centimeter square is the area of sector. Right. Area of sector is uh, three pi centimeter square. What is whatever is the relevant information? We just uh, talk about that. So we have a sector. This is a sector. Right. So we have a sector and uh, we know that this angle is 120 degree and its area is uh, given. So what is the area of a uh, sector? What is the area of a uh, sector, Amita? Yes, you have gotten the area of sector. Pi by 360 into uh, pi r square? Yes, absolutely correct. Theta by 360, pi r square. Whenever we are talking about area, so pi r square. Good. Now, this is given, right? So, you can uh, put the value in here. Area is uh, 3 pi centimeters. Right? So, this is 3 pi. Theta is uh, 120, right? And uh, this is 360 and uh, pi r square, right? So, <clears throat> so this will cancel, this will uh, cancel, this pi, this pi will cancel, this will go in this side. So, this is 9 r square. So, r would be how much? Root 9, right? So, 3. So you have found out that what is R, then uh, you can calculate length of uh, the R. 
length of uh, the arc is how much, Amira? What is uh, the formula for length of the arc? That is exactly the same, but instead of pi r square, you have pi r, right? Yes, sir. So theta is 120 by 360. Again, this is 3. And uh, two pi, r is 3. 3, 3 cancel, and you have r left with this 2. So 3 pi is 3. That is how we get this. Right? Uh, Clear, uh, is the thing clear, Amita? Yes, sir. Good, so quickly note it down, and whenever you have noted it down, uh, please tell me. And, uh, oh, so today was your exam, right? Today or tomorrow? No, sir, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, oh, and, uh, yeah. The tomorrow exam is about circles and... Uh, Coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry. Oh. Okay, so what should we do? So do we have any doubts from those uh, chapters? Do you have any doubts? Sir, I have uh, uh, one, two doubt from uh, coordinate geometry. So why didn't you tell me sooner, right? Why are we discussing here? Yeah. So we can skip this part uh, for now, right, uh, Tejasvi? Let us skip this part for now. And let us discuss uh, Amira's uh, So what is the doubt in coordinate geometry? Sir, in exercise 7.1, question number 8. 